Hello and welcome. For this new tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make refraction materials for your Niagara effects. More specifically, in this case, for your uh, trails. As you can see, it's, uh, let's see, over here. We, we can see it more clear here, perhaps. Yeah, so it is distorting the background. Uh, the material is going to be rather simple and implementation on Niagara also too. So this is really fairly, fairly quick. Let's start then. Let's create a new material here. M underscore distortion. And we enter. All right. So first for this, we want it to be translucent and we want it to be unlit and two sided, of course so we can see it on every side. All right, um, now you need to keep in mind that we are not going to add uh, emissive color or opacity. We're just gonna work with refraction and with normal. And again, it is a fairly simple material. First, um, let's add two textures. The first one, it's going to be the normal and we can actually get one here on uh, on this starter on this starter content if you don't have any of your own. So textures, maybe this water. Uh, I guess it could work. This rocky is perhaps too much. Yeah, it's too much. I guess water is fine. So we just click on it. Go on our material. Hold T. Left click. To bring it up, we need this, this texture, and we also need um, a noise texture. On previous materials, we've already made noise textures, so if you want to watch those, go for it. Um, I'll just pick one of these that I have on this trail pack. Let's just pick this one. Okay, so honestly, any noise. No color, just any noise. It doesn't matter. All right. So first of all, let's start working on the normal. Um, if you can see, it's disabled here, but do not worry. As uh, as soon as we hook something to reflection, it uh, it's available, right? So this is fine. So first, what we want to do here is add a way to control our normal texture, right? Because we could use, for example, just hook it up and then it's whatever, right? It's it's there, it's going to cause, uh, it, it's going to help the refraction be more believable, but it's going to be way too static or perhaps in the effect you, you need to uh, increase its radius or increase, uh, I don't know, panning speed or whatever, right? So first what we're doing is just adding means to control this texture. Okay, so we unhook it. And uh, what if, hmm, let's just add a, a gradient. So radial, radial gradient exponential, or you could use another texture if you want to. Maybe your texture do you want it to be horizontal? I, I don't know. Maybe you don't want it to be a circle. It's up to you. So let's multiply those two. Or these two. We multiply this. All right. Now let's add uh, ways to control the radius and the density. So hold S. And let's say this is radius. And hold S again. And this is going to be density. Just Hook them up here. Okay. So since right now it is zero, you can't see anything here. Perhaps we want it, this to be two. And perhaps we want this to be five. Could be. Well, this is full, right? Um, but still, eh, 0.4. Maybe. Point five. Okay, let's just leave it like that and you can control it however you want to. 
density what if it is like this maybe i'll just leave it at one mm. no maybe not maybe three is fine okay again it is up to you and uh we need to hook this on the normal although maybe we, we should have started on the refraction bottom since we can't hook this yet it it's fine so Again, the idea is creating means to control this texture, which is done now. Okay, cool. Now we need to start on the refraction. And to be able to do this, we need to add a lerp. What this node does is that it can interpolate between two between two uh, variables, can you say like that? So if, for example, you bring up two of these, And we put a, a color in it. And this one over here. So the end result is going to be a mix between these two. Right? And this alpha, it, it just specifies. Uh, um, let's just show it better. Okay, this. This alpha just specifies where you want each color to be, right? Yep. So blue is the no wait, wait. Let's do it like this. Blue should be the outline, and the background should be the other one. Yep. Well, that's just a quick explanation of this. All right. So what we want to do with this is. We need to hook the lerp on the refraction, and we 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 raise these two of the example, and we have our noise over here. Mm, maybe we want a way to well, of course we want a way to control this texture too. So, mm, and we also want a way to control this refraction on our particle system. Maybe with a dynamic parameter. So let's hook that dynamic parameter here. Or hmm, for now, let's just make it simple. We are or complicating things. Let's bring up a power power node. And this one, let's just say it's on the green right here, and let's hook it on the alpha. All right. I wonder if we can start seeing something now. We cannot see anything because we haven't set our opacity to zero. Okay, so maybe we can see it now. You can sort of see it already, right? We can increase the, the power or whatever variable we need so we can see it better. Um, but this lerp, maybe, just maybe, um, let's say 1.5 on B and on A, maybe 1. No, this makes it disappear completely. It's zero here. The way it was before <laughs> was way better. Okay. So zero and zero. We can maybe add variables here to see what's up. So this should be the power distortion. Let's just put one and see exactly what is going on. Maybe we want something different on the power too, so I'll just name this power. All right. So this should be everything you need in order to add a distortion, well, in order to make a distortion trail. Uh, let's just save it and uh, check the, the material instance of what we have just created. So let's enter. Okay, we have this. And we are not making it pan either. 
we should we probably should but first let, let's just check so density it's where did we wait I, we did not rename this okay maybe like that it's better oh density it's just degraded here it doesn't matter radius yeah it is a little obvious right let's just disable it so let's focus on this destruction power and power exp so over here well it is certainly distortion power right we don't want this to look like like this it just breaks so maybe just put it back to where it was and this one well this one is not doing much i wonder why let's check it out so it is the power exponent I guess we could be multiplying it after. Or maybe it is because it is already being multiplied here. We don't need, we, we don't need this. Anyways, uh, let's make it pan a, a little bit. So where do we need the pan? Probably on this, on this normal map. Let's see. So we grab a multiply. Actually, we, we grab an add to the UVs, and one needs to be a texture coordinate, and the other one can be a panner. Hold P, left click. All right. So let's say it's one. Probably we want it on the direction of the of the slash, and we need to test it once. Uh... Oh. We don't want this to be so cramped like this at all. Is it two or is it below one? Yeah, maybe 0 0.5, 0 0.5. It is way too strong. But hey, maybe we want it like this. We will need to check it uh, on the animation and see if we if we want something softer. Actually, maybe around here. Okay, we could be leaving it. We could be leaving it like this. And our next step is just checking it on on uh, on the animation. Well, making an Niagara effect and just uh, checking it on the animation. I'm also not not liking this circle <laughs> at all. Maybe we need a different texture. Yeah, I probably need a different texture here instead of this gradial exponent. But for now, it is fine. So I'll see you in the next video.